across Newcastle and the Hunter to a new RFM 103.7 as we get across Hunter schools right now with our Professor of Education from the University of Newcastle, John Fischetti, who has uh, been sort of part of a program, John, that's, that's unrailed at the moment to try and rejig the way that uh, well, we get some more teachers into the system because at the moment you were telling me a minute ago that there seems to be uh, quite a few spaces lagging, quite a lot, lot of gaps there. Yes, good morning, Mark. We're really excited at the University and on behalf of the School of Education to launch a new graduate diploma in teaching secondary to try to close the gap in the secondary teacher shortage. There's 2,100 secondary teaching jobs in New South Wales available today, which is kind of shocking if you think about who's watching our kids, uh, and 4,100 projected in the next three years. And so what we've done, working with both the Department of Education, Catholic and Independent Schools, the Teachers Federation, and with the accreditor, our New South Wales Education Standards Authority, is to take the two-year degree, front load it basically with a graduate diploma, so you can be a high school teacher in just one year. Okay, so we're in, in essence halving it, but that's not we're not really chucking anything out. It really is rejigging where you do what, isn't it? Well, our team in the School of Education has found a way to, in three trimesters, so one calendar year, allow us to keep two practicum experiences, which are crucial that they get in schools, take the courses most relevant to become a teacher. And at the end of that year, you're eligible to apply for what's called conditional accreditation, which means you can be in a school as a paid teacher. Because we're moving the program online, you can also do it on your own time. And that allows you to stay in your current job or maybe serve as a casual teacher or another job in a school setting that there also was a huge demand for, mm. Mark. And then finish the program as a master of teaching student, but do that either in the first year or two. You have up to four or five years to finish that. So that can be done then later on while you're in your own classroom. So we think we found the, the sweet spot to get it right where we do all of the necessary things right up front to let you get out there and be a teacher in a year. I kind of like the idea of rejigging this around a little bit because, yes, the important stuff that has to happen in the in the classroom environment happens, but the rest of it is kind of meeting people where they're at because if you've yeah. still got your, your current work commitments or your current lifestyle, you, you, you have to just adhere to it's a way of meeting people where they're at and not sort of because people might look and go well i can't really devote a few years to be away from my life this is a way that we can sort of get it in the middle and every other program in the country is a two-year master of teaching which means can you imagine anybody you know i know no one who could afford to take themselves out of the workplace for two years particularly with interest rates on mortgages payment for any of the electrical bills and any of the Mm. other stuff we got to do food prices trying to keep your family going But if you said in one year I could be out there in the schools and then I could be working, still keeping my job or working along the way, taking a little leave to do those placements, now you're talking. So we hope our listeners or maybe their next door neighbor, maybe their brother out there would be great. You do have to have a degree in something that's taught in schools now to be eligible. So that would be somebody in maths or science or engineering or chemistry, physics, uh, could be in history or, or in any of the related topics that could be turned into something that's caught one of the KLAs, the key learning areas. But we're happy to look at someone's transcript and help them make a decision. Anybody with a degree in something that's taught in a year, you can be out there and be a teacher in a high school. And the advantages we have today are that our kids really need the next level of content knowledge, next level of keenness. The Hunter region is the fastest growing region in all of Australia, and most of the new careers coming in are gonna require STEM skills and high technology skills and really good people skills, all of which require great teachers to get you ready for. So the work world experience that our candidates bring will be put into place right away as kids ask, why do I need to know this? (laughs) Well, they have been applying it. So these are folks who have either just finished uni or been well into their careers coming back and going, you know, I wish I'd done that along the way. So we're hoping a lot of folks will be inspired because now it seems possible that you could be a high school teacher in just one year. Overall, I'm just sort of doing a bit of short and medium forecasting here, John. Overall, where are the biggest gaps in terms of, well, we need so many teachers to do this subject, that subject? Is there a couple of areas that are really lacking? Great question, Mark. For many years, it's been in rural and remote areas, almost every subject. In addition to that, it's in the STEM areas, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, uh, because of the other jobs that are out there for those candidates. 
But now it's across the board. There are schools all around New South Wales that don't have a history or an English teacher or a vet teacher. So it's actually every discipline that's taught, but it's particularly STEM and it's particularly rural and remote. What we're happy with with the online component is for folks in Tamworth or Orange or Tari who are really interested in teaching, they can stay home and do this and get the job right in their own neighborhood school because they can do it online. They don't have to move to one of the cities where the universities are to do this, allowing us to grow our own because the solution to the rural and remote teacher crisis is really getting folks in those areas to be retooled. And the thought of doing this right where you are means you don't have to relocate. So yeah, it's a great question, but almost mm. every subject field is now short. And that that's also a big barrier to a lot of things, isn't it, John? Having to you know, move and uproot your life to go and do something, that just, just becomes almost a ceiling for a lot of people sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And you know that a majority of our students at our university are actually people who come back uh, to study at, after a little bit away from their schooling, whether they're in our enabling programs or in our undergraduate or postgrad programs. And this is really one of those solutions there's so much negative that's gone on in the last year or two about teaching, which is really shocking to me because I thought teachers and nurses were superheroes in, during pandemic. And now it's like, oh, a lot of our school students are saying, yeah, no, to coming into teaching. Around the sector, teaching degrees are down quite a bit. This is a way to say, OK, no worries. We're going to get this. Uh, we're going to put people into classrooms in a year. And the opportunity is in for our university to be part of the solution as we help our folks in the school sector overcome what is really a tragic issue. If we don't have enough qualified teachers in front of our kids, their future is going to be inhibited, and that's not good for the whole country. All right, John, we'll see how uh, the new program goes. Thanks for giving a bit of it to us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you in the program. That's it. Our Professor of Education from the University of Newcastle, John Fischetti, on 2 and URFM 103.7. A broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.